Hey there, we are now on episode number 11, which is going to be about the leap view. Uh, this is going to be another pretty quick, uh, pretty quick lesson episode, whatever you want to call it. Um, we are going to just look at an article and we are going to delete that article. Um, so let's see if we can go ahead and pick one of these articles to delete. Uh, which one do we want? Let's go ahead and delete this one. This one looks like a good one to delete. Um, we will delete it and hopefully it's gone. Hopefully it's gone. It is gone. It is gone. It is deleted. And let's go ahead and take a look at our code and see what we needed to do to make that happen. So here in article delete view, we are just specifying the model and the success URL, just two properties. And all of that delete code is done. That is why generic views are great. Um, without this, you would have to uh, do a lot more code. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at how this works as we have been doing. Um, delete view here is based on single object template response mixin and base delete view. Um, we have already looked at this. Uh, base delete view is based on, is inherited from base detail view and it has a deletion mixin. Um, if you remember base detail view, uh, detail view is the one where we are, where we display an art, where we display a model instance. Um, so this is is going to be used to know what model instance to delete, right? And deletion mixin, we um, deletion mixin right here, right above. There are three methods: delete, post, and get success URL, right? Um, in actuality, there are only two because post just links to delete because apparently. Some browsers don't want to issue or receive, receive, accept, um, delete requests. So it, it only does post and then, so that will just move it to delete, right? Um, delete is very straightforward. I think you guys have probably done this in your projects. Um, we have an object, we set this success URL, we delete the object and then we redirect to the success URL. Um, <clears throat> get success URL is pretty similar to update view where we set in a success URL and then use that. Um, the difference is that here we have to set the success URL. We have to set the success URL, right? Because we don't have a model instance to link to. Um, with update view, you can do get absolute URL and create view as well. But here we delete the instance, so we cannot do that. So we have to let Django know where to redirect the user, right? Makes sense. Um, so here, if you don't do it, there's an error, right? Um, see, so what else is there with delete view? Um, there's really not that much more with delete view. It's pretty straightforward. It's a pretty easy um generic view to be using um so yeah that will be it for delete view um hopefully you have a good idea about that now um and next episode we will be talking about jingle braces which is a third party package which gives us a lot of added functionality through mixins um Pretty excited for the episode. Hopefully you guys are too. It's something that you should use in your projects that use class-based views. So we will go more into that in the next episode. Um, until then, have a good time. I'll see you later.